and sails. Hi ducks and sails, morning. So, this is our first day of our new genre of an instructional writing and I'd like you to meet my friend Noddy the Gnome. Now, Noddy the Gnome is really, really stinky. I can smell him from here. And he's got really, really dirty out in the garden and do you know what Miss Oliver? I think he needs a really good wash. I agree. Now, I've got some things here to help me with washing him. I've got a bucket of water, some waterproofs, which will really help me, a scrubbing brush, some shampoo, some soap, and a towel to dry him with. Right, should we get started? What do I need to do? Okay, so I think first you need to put the water in the bucket, but you've already done that, Mrs. David, because you're very organised. Do you think we might need some bubbles in there? Put the bubble bath in. And I might use my hands and make some bubbles. Nice. Ready for what do I need next? Okay, next put on your waterproof clothes because <gasps> no splash. They're around. so nice, I love those. My favourite colour. Then get your smelly gnome. Yeah. And really put him up. in the bucket. Really? Okay, in he goes. What do I need next? After that, scrub scrub him. Yeah. Really fast with the scrubbing brush. What, vigorously like that? Try and get okay. the dirt off of him. Oh, he's really dirty. He's Next, use some shampoo and wash his beard. Okay, which one's the shampoo? I think it's the white bottle. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my fingers for this bit. Just be careful it doesn't go in his eyes. Okay, he's really bristly. I think he needs a trim. Warning! Sometimes gnomes like to splash. Oh, did you see that? He's really naughty, this one. <laughs> Got a naughty noddy. Finally, use a miniature towel. Okay, okay. And dry him. Oh, he looks much cleaner now. And then give him a cuddle to keep he him warm. He looks much cleaner. Look. Look, we can see what clothes he's got on. There we go. Brilliant. All clean. All clean. He's perfect. I would lay him down on the table, Mrs. David. Not just like that. If you can have a nap. Okay. What's next? I think you're going to explain. <laughs> ah, the so you part. might have guessed by now, children, that our new genre is instructional writing about how to wash my garden gnome. Now, before we have a look at our text, I'd like to explain some of the vocabulary to you. So, the first word is vigorously, and vigorously means to put lots of effort into something and use lots of energy. Miniature means something that is very, very small. Forthcoming. Forthcoming is when you're willing to share something. This could either be being forthcoming with an object or forthcoming um, with, with something to say. Waterproof. These are clothes to protect you from the rain. Noble. Noble is when somebody shows really good personal qualities. Musty. Musty is when something smells really mouldy and damp. Decent. Decent is when somebody shows really good, respectable behaviour. Nervous. Nervous is when somebody feels worried about something or anxious. And these are the new words, children, that we will be looking at in our non-fiction text. This, this term, we're going to start learning a set of instructions. Instructions are non-fiction. A definition is instructions are to inform the reader of how to accomplish something in as clear a way as possible. As we use instructions every day, children, if we're um, doing some cooking, we might use instructions to tell us how to make a recipe. If we're making a Lego model, we use instructions to show us how to make the model and how to put it together. If we've bought a piece of furniture from Ikea, you might need to follow the instructions to put that piece of furniture together. So instructions are really quite an important part of our daily life. You might be able to think of some instructions that you use at home, or you might be able to come up with some other ideas with your parents. 
So these are some instructions here. This is our text map of instructions for how to wash a garden gnome. I'm going to go through the instructions with you now and I've put some actions to it, but you might want to make up your own instructions at home. Or you will want to make up your own instructions at home, they might not be the same as mine. And it's really important that you try and learn this as much as you can and we'll be going over it for the next couple of weeks. So, how to wash a garden gnome. Does your noble nervous gnome need a wash? Is he or she starting to smell musty? Well, look no further and follow these simple instructions to give your friendly, forthcoming gnome a decent wash. You will need shampoo, bubble bath, a full set of waterproof clothes, a rubber ducky, a metal bucket, a scrubbing brush, a miniature towel. Instructions. First, fill the bucket with water and add the bubble bath. Next, put on the full set of waterproofs. Then, get your smelly gnome and put him in the bucket with the rubber ducky to play with. After that, scrub him or her vigorously with the scrubbing brush. Next, wash the beard using shampoo, but make sure it doesn't go in his or her eyes. Warning, sometimes gnomes like to splash and splash while being washed, so try and work quickly. Finally, use the miniature towel and ensure he is completely dry. Now, give your gnome a big cuddle and pop him back in the garden. There you go, children. These are our instructions for how to wash a garden gnome. What I'd like you to do now, children, is to have a go at learning those instructions and the text map really carefully. If you would like a printout of the instructions, just send us an email and we'll print it out for you and leave it at the front gate because sometimes it's easier this way. Off you go, have a great, have, have fun, bye bye!